everybody welcome back to the channel today we're out here well at the beaver dam <laughs> they have really rebuilt their dam after it was taken down by uh, i guess uh, the locals and uh well pretty busy anyway speaking of water we're going to talk about filtering water today so hang in there be right back with you Welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, I appreciate you give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, share with your friends and enemies, and subscribe to my channel. All of the above, not necessarily in that order, but I'd appreciate it. And uh, let's get on with it. Well, I, like a lot of you out in the outdoors, we use things to filter water, especially if we're traveling and you just can't carry enough with you for a several day trip or just kind of stuff like that. I'll carry at least one Nalgen type bottle with me. Or some kind of canteen and along the trail when i come by water if i notice water on it i'll usually plant it into my into my hike i'll stop and uh, refill all my canteens drink plenty of water and keep going so it keeps me having to carry too much heavy water on me too much heavy weight okay well what i've been using for you know for many years i've tried catadine which i love those are really good filters they are some of the best filters and if i was going to go out to the jungle or something like that i would definitely carry one of their filters because they are probably some of the best that are out there but what i prefer to carry is my little msr right here this little filter right here has been with me well this is my second one i got the first one about 15 years ago and uh well it froze and uh, cracked so but anyway this new one right here and i'm gonna i think a lot of you know what these are it has a uh, has a um a tube system in it's going to you lay it in the water and you have this little small pump right here very lightweight i love it okay and this one unlike the, the one i had before and i've had this right here for about two years three years something like that this one actually i paid less for it about a hundred bucks cheaper uh and thank goodness because the swiss importer uh from 15 years ago was charging double the price and this one actually will filter three liters of water in one minute okay that is fantastic three liters of water in a minute because the old one was two other one before that one was two liters in a minute well think times have changed it's gotten better and this is my preferred water filter that I use and I carry and I am in love with, okay? I also use some of the tablets, the kind of stuff in the Army. We use the tablets because it was lightweight. We had a little bottle of the uh, iodine tablets, kind of stuff to purify water, but they tasted awful and you had to wait 30 minutes. I do apologize for the wind. It's a windy day. It's, it's spring, but it's still, still winter out here. We got some snow also. Anyway, some years ago, of course, uh, another company um, called Sawyer came about and they came up with this Sawyer little filter right here and this system right here is what it does is you fill up a little bag of water which I have it here um, let's see I get into it I keep it in this little max edition mesh bag so it can dry out but it, it has like a this is it has a has a lot of stuff to it you know this right here is a little um, um, syringe you use to back back uh, to backfill it to actually clear, clean it out okay and then you have the little bottle it comes with which it screws into if i can figure out how to get to it yeah it's in here yeah it's inside the main pouch right here this little pocket pocket pouch right here you fill up with water you screw this you screw the whole system in and you squeeze it to get the water out i don't like that system um, first of all i don't like filling up a canteen with dirty water and then filtering it out that way um it just to me it just doesn't so every time i so if i want to fill it like, you know you can fill up another canteen with us now i got two canteens uh sort of you know this little thing right here and it, I, I just i see too many problems with cross-contamination now as a survival tool i think the sawyer is a fantastic idea um for that it's lightweight and uh, you can get a bunch of fil uh, bunch of filters out of it you can filter a lot of water out of it and and it'll work okay and as long as you back filter by pushing the water back through it you're going to clean it out okay well 
I guess a couple of years ago, past couple of years, a new system has come out, okay, new company, and it's called Grail, okay? Now, I just got this right here. This right here has not been used yet. I have not played with it. I don't know a whole lot about it. Uh, matter of fact, uh, I'm going to read you some of the some of the stuff about it because I don't know a whole lot about it, okay? Um, I've seen videos about it. I've seen, I've seen them talking about it. And it sounds like a great idea, except for the fact that you put water inside this right here, which is sort of like, for me, it's like a canteen, it's like a cup, you know? And then you push it through. You have to open up the top, I guess. Yes. You open up the top right here to allow the air to come out and you push it through gently. And then what it does, it filters the water. It forces it through the filter into it, which fills this inner, this inner canteen up. And then there you can drink from it. Well, let's talk about that, okay? Uh, like I said, I have not filters out here. And I'm looking at the measurements on there here. It says, uh, it shows about the purifying F FDO has a line on it. I guess it's the, it's the filter line to it. I like the color, it's pretty good. I mean, there's a bunch of different colors you could have gotten. This thing is not cheap either. It's about the same price as the MSR. And um, so it has a little screw lid on it right here, which is pretty decent, it's pretty nice. And it has this attachment right here on it. Um, now I haven't tried to put it inside of a canteen yet or put, put a canteen cup on it. I'm gonna do that later to see how that works out. But what I wanna do first is I wanted to read you guys what's on the embalage, what's on the, the, the wrapper, okay? And it's a one-way valve drink mix ready, one press global purification, geopress filter and purifier. It's got all this stuff on it right here. Uh, 24 fluid ounces, 710 milliliters, so it's not a liter. Okay, removes viruses plus bacteria and protozoa, improves taste, smell and clarity, filters, microplastics, PFAs and lead, five liter per minute. Okay, that's not bad, five liters a minute. That's actually pretty damn good. 250 liters per cartridge. Okay, well, I can get a lot more out of my other one. And an eight second press. Well, we just saw it and it does. It's an eight second press, okay? Fill, press, drink. Okay, and there's a lot of other things. Now let's talk about the specifications here. Capacity, 24 ounces, 710 milliliters. Weight, 15.9 ounces, 450 gram, uh, ounces, a uh, gram, excuse me. So it's about half a kilo just just it by itself okay now i want to do some comparison about see what a canteen is because what you could do is filter and pour into a canteen filter pour into a canteen which i think is a great idea also but it's quite big it's a big thing but you also use it as a canteen itself okay it's so that last filter you filter it through and you got a canteen okay it's um it's height is 10.4 inches or 26.5 centimeters diameter at the base is third uh, um 34, no, 3.4 inches, 8.6 centimeters. Um, and it's got active technology, testing standards, blah, 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 a lot of stuff like that, which I'm gonna put a link in and you guys can read up on it like that. But what I wanna do, I have like a muddy, <laughs> a little muddy hole here and I'm gonna just try it out and taste it. And for me, that's what matters, okay? If it does the job and if the taste is good, then there you go. Because I have had when my MSR, when it came, you know, because we filter filter from everything, and it, it, it did get to a point where it started tasting muddy. And uh, so, you know, and also quite often they want you to filter a couple of times before you use it. Well, we're going to try this right here. One straight shot. Okay. We're going to see if it works. And hang in there. We're going to readjust the camera. So, here we go. All right. Pull this thing out. Pretty simple. Huh? You see the mud hole here. Okay. I can't do this. I get myself completely muddy and wet. Oh, I got a bunch of leaves in there. It's that first time. Well, we're going to do about half of it. We're going to do half the first time and see how that works out. Get the camera up here before you can see me. See how it works out. You see, I got, I got the water in there, okay? Stick this in there like it's right here. Unscrew the top. This thing does cost about almost a hundred bucks. I've seen them a little bit cheaper. Depends on what's, what, what channel you go to. 
Okay, now we got it to the water now. We'll see how well that thing works. Oof, this a little, takes a little bit of work, huh, to get it, to get that sucker to press down. I'm trying to do it without getting myself completely wet also. Let's see, well, I don't see, let's see something here. Yeah, there's, a, there's, a, there's a cap in it, but I'm not sure if that blocks it. No, nope, I think it's coming through. Oof. Okay, there's water in it. I see it, okay? Almost there. Oh, it's a bit of a... Okay. Oh, that's a bit of work there. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like it's a bit of work there. It should be easy. When you're tired, you're thirsty, man. You want it to be easy. So let's taste, taste it. No odor. Tastes fine. Uh, it's good. It tastes good. And like I said, and you have your canteen, you can screw it back up. It's got a little bit of water in the bottom. You can see what I like about it. You can actually see through it. It's actually quite decent right there. But anyway, it's gonna take a lot more testing on my part. This is that very first time using it. I definitely uh, am interested in it. The water is nice and nice and fresh. We can pour it out. Okay. What I am interested in, because I can see there's some water like inside of it right here. I am interested in seeing, there we go, pulling it out. And here we can see the dirty water that's still in it. It actually is still dirty. Hmm. It's very interesting. It just screws off. I am curious though if this rubber sealant right here. Okay, no. Okay, this pops off. There's some water inside of it right there. There we go. Okay, yeah, and it forces water through that. It's got a little rubber, a rubber seal inside of it I just popped out. Okay, and this screws right up inside of it pretty easily. This is the filter that you change. Okay. This piece right here is the filter you change. Like I said, it's all brand new to me. I'm getting, I'm just getting to know it. Putting it back in there. Oh, I tell you, it takes a little bit of work though to get that sucker to go back on. But I think it's not a pretty, it's not a bad piece of kit. I don't know much more than that. It takes a little bit of work though. Okay. Anyway, there you go. The Grail Geo Filter. Got some stuff on the bottom. Purification, filterization, geopress. You can see that on the bottom right there. What it says, you can maybe. Anyway, I'll leave a link down below and you guys can check it out. Let me know what you think. Not bad. Um, am I completely war <laughs> one over? Not yet. I still like my MSR. Um, it's not so complicated. It doesn't take so much work, you know. Just a few pumps, you know, and yeah and there you go but uh, we'll see we'll keep testing this out and i'll keep you keep you in the loop about it but anyway there you go hope you all enjoyed this video let me know what you think i'm curious if any of you have also tested this out and what you think how it well has worked for you uh do you like it do you not like it why i definitely want to know that share that with everybody on here because this that's something that we definitely need to know more about uh, and then we'll see anyway Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I look forward to your feedback. And like I said again, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, subscribe to the channel and share with your friends and enemies because even your enemies need to know about this system right here. And they can let me know. Anyway, take care of yourselves. I'll talk to you very soon. Goodbye.